Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Currency Exchange Planner. This is version 8, my new version. Okay, when you load it up, it's going to bring you to this uh, cover screen. I'm going to go to the next one, which is the dashboard. This is the new CEP version 8 dashboard. On the, on the left side here, you've got the currency, you've got bank balance, you've got all your currencies listed here. Rial, Dong, sorry, uh, Dinar, Rial, Dong, Zim, Rupiah your debts, medals, charity planning, family gifting, future payments, future purchases. Um, the first thing you do is when you get into the software you click on currency and if you're in US you can leave it at US dollar as the default. If you're in Canada you can change to the Canadian dollar. Uh, if you're in Malaysia you can change to the Malaysia ringgit. Um, works for any country here. You've got, uh, let's say you're in Hong Kong, Hong Kong dollar. So for now I'm going to leave it at the default which is the US dollar. Now I'm going to go into the first currency which is the dinar. It brings up the uh, screen, it's all color color now and when you print it out it will look exactly how you see it. It looks really really nice when you print it out. And um, you can enter in your currencies, it covers four exchanges, first, second, third and fourth. And let's say for example we have 10, 25,000 notes. The first rate is going to be four dollars so that's going to give us one million US on our exchange. All right now because we set the value here in US dollars so that means all the calculations will all be based in US dollars okay uh, you've got real here you've got dong okay you got all the categories for dong you got zim okay you got rupiah and you've got it here so I'm gonna go back to dinar okay we got this in the bottom here gives us my grand total one million for my exchanges I'm gonna go back to the dashboard now, to keep the video short, I'm not going to enter in the other currencies. Now, I'm going to go to my debt planning. Okay, if you like, you can enter in for your taxes. Let's say you want to block off 40%, 400000 for your taxes. Okay, if I go back to my dashboard, you can see it immediately calculates the bank balance. And let's say I want to pay off my house. Okay, I want to pay it right off. Okay, let's say I got 250000 on my house. Okay, I want to pay off my car. Okay, I've got a Proton car. Okay, let's say my balance is uh, right now about 25,000 cards. Okay, my Visa card, MasterCard. Okay, I've got 5,000 there. Okay, and then if you've got other, other debts, you can list them down here. And then it gives you the grand total. Now, if I go back to my dashboard. Okay, now this is very interesting. Um, our debts is actually 680,000. And um, that's including the taxes as well. Keep that in mind. So the bank balance right now, we started off here, we actually went 1 million. We're down already to 259,200. Okay, you can see how fast, that's not even one minute. Okay, if I go to the metals, the precious metals, we've got precious metals and cryptocurrency. I can enter in gold and silver, let's say a budget. I want to buy about 20% in gold, 15% in silver. And I want to buy some Bitcoin. Okay, let's say I want to buy about uh, 50,000 in Bitcoin. Okay, I go back to my dashboard. You can see it gets updated here. And uh, let's go to charity planning. You can, let's say I want to make a donation to my church or my mosque or my temple. Uh, let's say I want to donate about 25000 Okay, and then you've got other charities here. Let's say you want to donate to the World Wildlife Federation. 5000 there. Uh, you want to donate to the Red Cross. Another 5000 there. Okay, so gets adjusted down at the bottom very quickly grand total 35,000 I can go back to my dashboard you can see it's adjusted here you can go to the family planning okay let's say my mom and dad I've already entered this in to be quick um, I want to give them 25,000 I've got two Uncle Mort's I've got one in Florida and I've got another Uncle Mort in Ottawa okay this Uncle Mort I want to give him 5,000 the Mort, Uncle Mort in Ottawa uh, 4,000 and gives us the total at the bottom. Okay, I'm go back up to my dashboard. Okay, and then I'm gonna enter in the future category. Now, right now, uh, we've already paid off our house, so that's fine. We don't need to buy a new house. We're not looking for land. Uh, we're not looking for any new car. The car that we have works fine. Uh, but let's say, for example, I did want to change my Proton to a new BMW. Let's say that's 25,000. Uh, let's say we want to take a trip to Las Vegas. That's gonna cost 5,000. And my kids have been after me to build a swimming pool for them, so that's 10,000. So our future planning, we're up to 40,000. So if I go back to my dashboard, now 
everything is there okay and uh, you can see right here is the bottom line right now we started with 1 million in a span of about five minutes in this video we're already down to 58,000 now can you can you now understand sudden wealth syndrome can you now understand why 70 percent of people will lose their money in three to five years we've actually lost our money in five minutes and uh, this is just from my planning from the top of my head this is why people fail in that 70 percent category is they need to get the plan down on paper and my currency exchange planner will help you do that you can put everything down on paper and then you can go back and now and you can change things let's say for example we forget about that new BMW trip to Las Vegas you know we don't stay in that 10 star hotel um, we stay in a little low budget hotel and uh, my kids want that swimming pool so I'm keeping it go back family planning let's say mom and dad put them down to about 15,000 Uncle Mort let's say 2005 the other Uncle Mort about 1,500 Okay, I can go back, um, let's say my charity planning, maybe the local church or a mosque or temple. Uh, we put them down to 10,000. Still want to help the animals, so we're going to help them by 1,000 and Red Cross at 1,000. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to my dashboard. Now, I'm going to change my gold and silver amounts. And that 10, 50K on Bitcoin, I think maybe overkill for me right now. I'm going to bring it down to 10,000. And then the debts okay um, now we can actually think about whether we want to pay off our house or use that extra difference in investing so right now our balance has now changed to two hundred six thousand let's say I go back to my debt planning I don't pay off my house I leave it at zero I want to pay off my car though I don't I don't want to have any more loans uh, credit cards I want to clear that okay so now you can see we're down to we're, we're actually back up and our balance at four hundred eight thousand I can now go to projecting. Okay, this this tab here basically is a fun little tab that you can see how long your bank balance can last you. So if I have a balance of four hundred eight thousand seven hundred, at over ten years, if if I keep a if I keep an allocated yearly budget of no more than forty k per year, uh, spending no more than three thousand four hundred per month, this money can last me ten years. If I try to bring this up to about a 5,000 per month target, okay, so about seven years, uh, this balance can last me, providing I'm sitting at home watching Netflix all day and doing absolutely nothing and having no money coming in. So it's a fun little tab that you can just project. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to my dashboard here. I'm going to go to the investing tab. Now, this is a very, very important tab. This tab basically is uh, helping you to bring money coming in so right now I don't I don't recommend putting anything more than 20,000 uh, sorry than 20 percent um, if you were to invest 80 percent of your money and your wealth manager goes on holidays and the markets go crazy and you come back or he comes back and your account is at zero that's not very nice mm -hmm. so I'm gonna put it back to 20 percent as my recommendation so Here's your investing budget. We've got 81740 to invest. This shows, shows me my balance of the investing money. Um, I've already put in here a fixed deposit. Now, let's say, for example, I'm just going to put all of it in a fixed deposit because I don't want to bother with having any worries at all of losing any money. So that will give me a yearly um, income of 4000 per year, which is not a heck of a lot. Uh, monthly about 341 okay but the key point here is that it's money coming in we're paying out in all these previous tabs all these money going out we need to have money coming in okay now I'm gonna to go to the next one which is the serial number tab this allows you to enter in your serial numbers for your bank note it's completely optional if you wanted to do it you can you got Iranian real Zimbabwe dollar Vietnamese dong Indonesian rupiah you can put in your serial numbers um, we I also added in a family budget feature as well you can do your family budget planning as well um, I've got guides here there's an envelope planning guide investment guide security planning guide bank planning guide I've also added a planner for for doing envelope planning 
all of it is here you can download the free version you can go in detail check the things out the free version only the dinar is working if you're ready to buy just click on the buy now button everything will be downloadable in five f less than five minutes from your time of checking out you can you can start using the planner and know where you stand so if you got any questions please feel free to email me and uh, I wish you all the best and success in your planning and I hope and pray to God that uh, we are all part of that 30% that uh, we will succeed. Thank you. Bye-bye.